Yeah, this is my uh, temporary building. It used to be my uh, camper carport. We wrapped some greenhouse material around it. Keep the wind off of him right here working. But as you can see here, we've got uh, all the cabinetry out. Uh, getting ready to repaint all the walls and the ceiling. Make it all kind of look uniform. Right now I'm working on putting the solar in. I'm going to run it down the shower wall there on the inside of that void since they've already got all the walls and everything in is that's the easiest place and the simplest place to put it down through there without having to guess or pull any uh, any of their already uh, their materials out Since they already had their uh, max air fan and then their rear vent, we're going to go with uh, 370 watt uh, rich solar panels. We're going to mount them up here, I give them about 510 watt, uh, along with the, the two battery, two uh, 200 amp hour Renergy batteries, give them 400 amps. So, let me get this here die cord up and, and uh, get these panels mounted and I'll show you what we've done. Alright, I just realized it's been a little while since I gave you guys an update on projects around here. Uh, the Sprinter, this is uh, some of the cabinetry that's going in it. Uh, this is one of the reasons that uh, that I can't really do multiple jobs right now. It's because this is this is my metalworking shop, my woodworking shop, solar, you know, everything is is in this one building. Well, all the woodworking part. The van is over in a another little temporary building I've got set up, but let's see. I know I'm moving too fast. Uh this is all the cabinetry. We're getting it all sanded and painted. Uh, getting it ready to paint, which will be tomorrow. Uh, we do work on Sundays sometimes. I don't like to on Saturdays and Sundays, but uh, you know sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So let's take you out here to the van. We'll show you where we're at with it. All right, we're getting ready to get all these cabinets painted. I'm going to start the uh, final assembly of this Sprinter. Uh, you know, I get a lot of people saying, well, you know, you got to have a big shop to do this kind of stuff. No, you don't. I, at this time, I don't have a big shop. Would I like to have one? Yes. Uh, but I don't. And honestly, I'm, I'm not sure that I want a big shop. Because uh, if I buy a big shop, then, you know, that's more I've got to add to the top line to pay for that big shop. And that means I've got to charge more for, for what I do. I had someone uh, state the other day and made a comment on one of my videos that uh, I'm just a, a glorified DIYer. Okay, I'll take that. I mean, just because I choose not to have, you know, a 10,000 square foot warehouse to build in or, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of machinery, you don't need that. I just use regular, regular tools. You can do the same work. So, don't get discouraged, you know. If you need help with your project, I'll uh, I'll do what I can to help you. But it does take me a little bit because I'm the only one here at the shop. I got to do, you know, all the builds, answer all the emails, the videos, all the social media. So please be patient. I will get back to you. Let me get these painted, and I'll be back. 